Okay, viewers, this one is a sunshine recorder. So the instrument is Campbell Stock Sunshine Recorder. And its function is actually to give us the total number of sunshine hours in a day, which is very important for agricultural purpose because the number of sunshine hours can actually affect the performance of some plants or some crops in our region or in other regions. So every, every region has got its own characteristics because you cannot, maybe you cannot compare equatorial region with northern poles or southern poles whereby the number of sunshine hours varies. Now setting up of, of Sunshine Recorder, Sunshine Recorder has got three slots. One uh, in the southern side or southern hemisphere and now another slot in the northern hemisphere and then another one uh, at, uh, at, the, uh, at, the, at the position of equator. And if I can demonstrate, you can see if you, you want to do measure, that means if the sun is in the north, you have to put the sunshine card in the south. And when the sun is in the south, you have to put the sunshine card in the northern uh, in the northern slot like that one, the way you have seen and the uh, time from it. And uh, when the sun is at equator, that is, uh, when the sun is at equator, that is a uh, 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 month like uh, March and uh, September, you have to put a straight cut. So there is, uh, the sun is still in the northern hemisphere. So that is why you can see we have put sunshine uh, card in the southern hemisphere so that because light travel in a straight line we want a condition whereby uh, land, uh, light and uh, sunshine glass uh, sunshine uh, uh, recorder glass will actually uh, penetrate until it cuts it gets out of the other opposite side but one card is it's straight and then another one is curved so the curved one is waiting depending on when the sun is at the weather. but when the sun is overhead at the weather, we have to put the straight card and then the central slot we have to slot in our sunshine like like such mm -hmm. so uh, setting up sunshine recorder uh, you have to put the sun the card holder in east west direction because the sun will rise from east and set in west and now also there is another setting whereby you have to set based on the latitude uh, when you are at equator the latitude you, you have to set at zero but when you are away from the equator, maybe northern side or southern side, you have to uh, set according to your latitude. For example, this thing can you can shift, you can change this one based on the position where you are, location of the in your in our clock or in our our earth. So when the sun is for, for those people who are living in the northern hemisphere, they have to put the sunshine recorder like that. You you put your sunshine uh, recorder based on the, your latitude. What is your latitude? Like, for example, when you are in Kenya, you are mainly at equator. So equator is zero degrees, as you can see from the readings. But those people who are living, who live in the, maybe in the northern hemisphere, uh, like in Europe, the sun will always be in the southern hemisphere. So for them to capture the right sunshine duration, they will have to tilt the sunshine recorder so as to be that one, making sure that they are setting in their latitudes. So th this, this is how to do the setting of the uh, sunshine recorder based on your latitude. So that is it. And what is also important is about this one is that the, the sunshine card should be put at a certain point. There is what we call lens equation uh, for those who are in higher levels, like one of You put your sunshine card closer to the glass, there will be no panning because that is not the focal point. So the sunshine card should be at a certain focal point, at a certain length or distance from the center of the lens. As you can see, it is now operating. Uh, you can see smoke emanating from the sunshine card and uh, at the end of the day we are able to tell the number of sunshine hours in a particular day And now, uh, how, how do we come to read the number of sunshine hours? What, what happened is that after sunset, you can place the, your sunshine card for tomorrow's reading. 
uh, to be ready. Say that by the sun, by, by the time the sun is rising in the morning, the, your sunshine card will be in the slot, in the right slot. So what will happen is, as the sun is rising from east, the rays of the sun will strike the uh, lens or a convex lens, and then it will be projected on the western side of the paper. So when the sun is rising from east, it will burn the western side of the paper. But as the sun is rising, it, the, 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 the burning will continue as, as to approach the center uh, from the western side. At noon, it will burn the central part. At afternoon, when the sun is to the west, now the, it will, the, 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 the rays will be burning the eastern side of the paper. And after sunset, there will be no panning. So you will come and remove your paper and you analyze to know the number of sunshine hours in that particular day. That is about the sunshine recorder.